Welcome to Electron Line. When we take a look at this inequality, notice that everything is already on the left side. We have a zero on the right side. The problem is on the left side, we don't have a single fraction. We have the sum of two fractions, so we want to combine those into a single fraction first. And to do that, we need to find the common denominator. So this will be written as follows. 4 divided by x minus 2, and then plus 2 divided by x plus 3 less than 0 but notice we're going to need an x plus 3 over here and that means we need to multiply the numerator by x plus 3 and here we're going to need an x minus 2 and that means we're going to multiply the numerator by x minus 2 as well so now we have a common denominator of x plus 3 times x minus 2 let's see what the numerator becomes so this will be written over a single denominator, x minus 2 times x plus 3 less than 0. And in the numerator, we have 4x plus 12 and plus 2x minus 4. And simplifying that, we end up with 6x plus 8 in the numerator divided by x minus 2 times x plus 3 and less than zero. So now we have this in the format that we can try to solve. We need to find all the critical points. Starting with the denominator, we know that the denominator can, denominator can never be equal to zero, so the denominator cannot be equal to zero, which means that x cannot equal two, so x should not equal to two, and x should not equal negative three. x should not equal to negative three. So here, are two of the critical points, the values that x cannot be because that would make the denominator zero. Now, in the numerator, what we do here is we set the numerator equal to zero because when the numerator is zero, the whole fraction is equal to zero. So we take the numerator and we set the numerator equal to zero. So we have 6x plus 8 equal to zero, 6x equal to negative 8, or x equals negative 8 over 6, which is negative 4 over 3. And there's our second critical point, or not second, but third critical point. Now, will that critical point be included in the solution? No, it will not, because I don't see an equal sign. It's only less than, so that point will also not be included. So let's find all the critical points on the number line. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. Okay, x cannot equal 2, so we'll draw a circle around 2. x cannot equal negative 3, we saw, draw a circle there. Notice we'll not fill those in because they're not part of the solution. They'll make the denominator 0. And then we have minus 4 thirds, which is right about here. So we'll draw a circle over here, and that is minus 4 thirds. So we have four regions, region number 1, region number 2, region number 3, and region oh, 3, and region number 4. Okay, let's test all our regions to see what we get. So region one. Let's pick x equal negative four. If we do that, if x equals negative four, that negative four times six is minus 24. Well, that makes the numerator negative. That's pretty straightforward. So negative divided by, if x equals negative four, that's a negative number. And that's a negative number. Negative times negative is positive. That makes the denominator positive. And is that less than zero? And the answer is yes, because a negative number is always less than zero. So the answer is region number one satisfies inequality. Region number two, let's pick the number x minus two. So region two, x equals negative two in the numerator. Negative 2 times 6 is minus 12 plus 8 is still a negative number. So the numerator is negative. And the denominator, oh, wait a minute. Something is wrong here. Oh, yes. No, it's not wrong. I looked at that and go, negative 2 will make the denominator 0, but no, no. 2 will make the denominator 0. Negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4. That's negative. Negative 2 plus 3, well, that's positive. Negative times positive is negative. And so... This gives me a negative number. Negative times negative, is that less than zero? The answer is no, because this will be positive, which cannot be less than zero. So that region number two is not part of the solution. 
region number three. Okay, for region number three, we have an easy picking, let x equal zero. If we let x equal zero, we have zero plus eight, that's a positive numerator, divided by, if x is zero, we have negative two times a positive three, that's a negative, negative, is that less than zero, question mark, and the answer is yes, because this will be a negative number, so region number three is part of the solution. How about region number four? We're going to let x equals three. And of course, I probably should put let because that's a choice. We're picking those particular values because they represent that particular region. If x is three, then 18 plus eight, well, that will be a positive numerator, so numerator is positive. If x equals three, then that will be positive and that will be positive. So that means a positive denominator. Is that less than zero question mark? And the answer is no, because a positive number cannot be less than zero. So region number four is not included. So that means region number one and region number three satisfy the inequality. And if we want to write that out mathematically, we can do it as follows. We can say that x must be less than negative three, not including negative three, and other possibility is that uh, negative one is less than x, which is less than two. So these are the conditions that will make, that will give us the range of values for x that make that satisfy the inequality, or we could write it like this. We can say that negative infinity all the way to negative three, non-inclusive, the endpoints, and uh, let's see here, from negative one not included, all the way to positive two, also not included, so those will also, that's also a way to express the solution set for the values of x that make the, that satisfy the inequality, and that is how it's done. How's that? Okay, good for today. Thank you.